Um, my name is Kira Kowalski, I'm 21 years old and I'm an embroiderer. So I started over January, so about nine months ago, and uh, just started as a hobby. I watched a few YouTube videos and it kind of took off from there and then I ended up being decent at it. My mom told me I was decent at it. Uh, my first piece was actually like a bikini piece and I posted it. I was like, oh, I'll start an Instagram, like whatever. I can just share it with people. And then I got a really good response. I'm like, you know what, like, I could probably sell it. I can make a little bit of money. And it just took off from there. So I called my business None of Us the Same. It was kind of me being super creative because, I don't know, why not? Um, I was just in bed one night being like, okay, well, if I'm going to have a business, I guess I have to brand myself and have a name. And I didn't want it to be embroidery by Kira because I feel that can get lost and I wanted something that stuck out. So I chose None of Us the Same because... I think that none of my pieces will ever be the same and I've told people that so if they send me the design that they want I'm like it's not gonna look exactly like that it'll either be my interpretation of it or it'll be just like slightly different um, and I think that handmade gifts and handmade art is so special because it's not I'm not a machine I'm not re like reproducing things you know it's my own take on things so none of them will ever be the same. I'm a bit of a worry wart. like I'm always thinking ahead, always thinking about the future, always just worrying about things in general because I do have anxiety. Embroidery is kind of just a time for me to take my mind off things and not have to worry about it. Like even though it's a business, I'm not worried about it, I guess. But it is my art form and it's how I express myself and it's how I do stuff. I get stressed out a lot with school. I'm in like a demanding program, journalism. So for me, just taking a couple hours out of my day just at the end of the night to unwind and have my embroidery and just kind of like take my mind off things is super therapeutic for me. And I think that, I don't know, I would recommend it to anyone who's looking to de-stress because you just don't really think about it. And you just, I don't know, just stitch, it's fun. I think that anxiety is kind of a term that's almost overused to the point where people don't quite understand it because it is so hard to explain and everyone feels it differently. It's a feeling. It's hard to put into words. It's, I don't even know how to explain how I feel a lot of the days. I don't necessarily feel it every day. It's, it can come and go. Yeah, like, and even anxiety doesn't mean that you're depressed or that you're sad all the time. It just means that maybe you're hard on yourself. It has so many different meanings for so many different people. Even people with anxiety, like, maybe they need to be around people to feel better, or maybe they need to be alone to feel better. Like, it, I guess it depends. Everyone copes with it differently. I happen to cope with it through embroidery. So myself, I am Métis. You probably wouldn't know that by looking at me, but I am, and it's something that I do want to explore more. And I hope to, after journalism school, go to um, University of Winnipeg and do my master's in Indigenous development. That's the plan right now. Um, and in terms of embroidery, I don't want to stop doing it, um, especially like after I go and graduate from that degree and get a job, I hope that it's always something that I can rely on as a stress reliever and maybe a means of a little bit of money. It doesn't have to be, but I know that I'll probably always do it. Everything translates through my embroidery. Like I'm inspired by stuff all the time that I want to stitch. So I'm sure that the two will meld once I learn more about my past. Like the feeling of giving someone something and them receiving it and just loving it, it's also just a great feeling in return and that's kind of why I keep doing it too because it makes people happy like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it.